So in the recent release of Rocket League Season 6, Rocket League broke something huge. Today I'm going to discuss what they broke and why it's a problem, and what that means for the future of this channel. Let's get right into it. So what exactly did Rocket League break? Well, they broke Rocket League custom map loading times. And I know it's a bit of a weird sentence, but basically it means that Rocket League custom maps take a lot longer than they did before to load into the map. Now we have Danny with us here today, if you want to say hello. Hello, hello. So we have a few concerns about what this means for uh, Rocket League custom content. Because, so the reason why this is a huge issue is because loading times mean that some maps might not be playable in multiplayer anymore. Um, as you can see this chart in front of us here, um, basically Danny and I did a big huge test uh, where we, we load up a bunch of different maps uh, to check some of them. Some important ones to note um, are uh, some of the training maps that you guys like to use. Uh, Neon Heights isn't too bad. Uh, these loading times are all on a high-end PC that uh, going to have the best loading times. So looking at these numbers, it, a lot of them are okay. Um, my, my original dribble challenge is under 30 seconds, which is pretty good. It's still pretty long, but originally the loading times were pretty uh, pretty long anyway. The big issue for custom content though, is that connecting to the host requires a uh, to be connecting within 30 seconds basically, because otherwise Rocket Plugin will give you a timeout uh, on the connection. There's a lot of maps that are just not physically possible anymore to even play. Uh, as you can see down here, um, eight minutes to load into pod racing. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So, what comments do you have on this, Danny? Because, like, I, I don't really know where where to go from here. Well, for me, obviously, like, we've seen a lot of the custom map creators, like, very low motivation to make new stuff, which is sad because that kind of keeps the game fresh for all of us and people that watch the, the content and all that. In this, in this, you can see Utopia Snowy at the top there. Uh, it, it It's one of Rocket League's maps. It takes 1.93 seconds. It's about a similar size in uh, a challenge map that's being made. Uh, we've been working on this challenge map for about three months. Um, I can't talk too much about it because it's for a company. There are three zones in total. And the reason why I have this split up like this is because there are three zones we've built separately for the background, and then the levels themselves are 52.3 megabytes. Um, we were trying to look at file size of these maps and see if there's uh, a significant change in loading time, but as you can see down here, Dual Pinball and Connect4 are two maps, two of the latest maps from my arcade, that are pretty huge, like they're they're a giant file size. But their they're, they're loading times are now 2 minutes 45 seconds, 3 minutes and 28 seconds, so obviously ridiculous and we can't we can no longer play these in, in multiplayer anymore. They are now like fully broken. No one can load into these as multiplayer because you'll, like I said, you'll have that 30 second timeout from Rocket Plugin to load into. So we can mm. no longer record content on, on either of these. Um, there are some other ones that are still playable, um, significantly longer loading times than before, but you can still play them. Uh, Ice Rings is now 37 seconds for my computer, which is pretty long. And I know a lot of people do use this one uh, for training. So that's significantly a bigger deal. The big one is the Medieval Rings that I've teased quite a bit is now loading for me in three minutes and 46 seconds. Um, Jeez. So I did tweet out about that, how unfortunately I just don't think I can release this at the moment because it's just no one's going to sit through almost four minutes and probably longer for other computers to wait for the, the, the Rings map. Right. And not, and not to mention how long it takes to load in every time you need to retest the map and build something new yeah i just can't i can't even do any play testing right now on that map because like i i need to basically load in like you said for four minutes just to check one change so at the moment i this is on a full standstill uh the biggest thing the biggest issue though is this um which i did tease would be coming out on april 4th which is this challenge map it is super cool what this thing is but I can't talk about it, obviously. Um, but the problem is, is that as you can see, these are all separately, uh, uh, right now these are all separately made so we can come, we can merge. It's several of us working on the project at once. So these are all gonna be merged into the, the levels themselves, which uh, I can't, I don't think I can talk about who's involved in this, but the total size is 422 megabytes. And the times to load each of these are significant in themselves. The, the, the levels themselves aren't too bad, but uh, once we add the backgrounds to them, we're going to run into some issues and we're trying to optimize these as much as we can. But um, with 422 megabytes uh, and these load times, we have maps at 7 788 megabytes like this one that's taking eight minutes. This one's significantly smaller, but we already have a combined total of uh, like five minutes here, uh, which might be even longer. Like, because we don't know how exponentially it'll cause the, the load time. So 
Um, I thought I would just discuss this with you guys and let you guys know that uh, custom content on this channel might be changing quite a bit. Um, my motivation to make custom maps is kind of low right now because of this, because like like I mentioned, the uh, playtesting is just like very, very grueling, um, as well as, you know, just making sure that the maps are loadable for players is going to be difficult. Like if I want to make something that's really cool, uh, that requires a lot of intricate work and it and it loads longer than uh, 30 seconds, then it just won't be playable uh, for multiplayer. The ones right, that so I, you could lose, you could lose all your work by the time the map's done. Ex exactly. Um, so uh, there's a, like a lot of these aren't um, a big deal, as you can see these white these white ones here, except for go kart. Go kart um, is another one that just won't be playable anymore for anybody in multiplayer. You can still play it solo. You'd have to wait a minute and forty seconds to play it solo, but um, you can no longer play with your friends on these maps. And I know that for my my channel for my um for my website there are a lot of people that go there um monthly so i know there are a lot of you that might be affected by this and i'm just warning you that you might run into some issues with loading i know that I, a lot of people are having crash issues uh lately um with with the fact that these maps are taking much longer for other computers to load um we've done a lot of testing with uh checking poly count like polygon count in the maps uh, versus the number of textures, um, the number of packages being used. This is a lot of like, you know, high level, high level rock, rockily map making stuff. But um, basically, we're just checking the count of objects, the number of things to render. Um, two fort is just like off the off the. Uh, <laughs> there's no, there's no way we can play this. It's 12 minute load time. Uh, that was yeah. the biggest map for a long time, but. Uh, it would load in about 20 seconds for us, I think, right, Eddie? Yeah, yeah, not yeah. too bad. Obviously under 30, which is good. Yeah, everything was under 30 seconds before. Like, nothing was anywhere close to an issue. But now we're running into maps that are, like, fully broken. And uh, going through my map list, I think probably about 50%, if not more, of my 100-plus custom maps are now obsolete in the current state of Rocket League, which is not fun. Definitely, it doesn't feel good, uh, knowing that a lot of my work is now unplayable. Uh, but the biggest thing is just a lot of concepts that I want to go back on and try are just not possible now. A uh, good example of that is Connect 4. Um, we played com competitive Connect 4 where you have to actually play around and, and you know, just hit it, hit the puck around like normal. But I wanted to have a version of Connect 4 where you just try to score the, the puck from the start position uh, to play like an actual game of Connect 4. So... That's no longer possible. A lot of maps are no longer playable um, for ideas that I had listed. So the biggest thing, I guess, uh, for me and Danny is that you guys might see less custom content on the channel overall. Um, we'll still try to mix it in, but there are a lot of uh, map makers, as you can see here, that are concerned about this as well. I know that Simple Shark specifically has stopped working on several projects because they are just too big to load. Um, one of which is Mario Party, which was a, I was really looking forward to. I think it's a pretty cool concept. Um, yeah, it looks so cool. It looks super sweet. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's no longer going to be playable uh, until they fix this, if they do fix it. That's the big thing, too, is that is it enough of a concern for Rocket League to fix this? Right. That's that's where I'm at, because like I said, before we started talking about this, I looked to see if Psyonix mentioned it or said, hey, guys, we know there's a problem. Um, but I haven't seen anything like that, so I'm I'm sure they're aware of it at this point because people have been pretty vocal. Um, but I'm worried if like do they care enough to do something about it? That's that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, I've spoken to one developer who is trying to help uh, sort out like optimizations and stuff. The biggest thing is that these file sizes never used to matter as much. Obviously, with the larger maps, we did see a longer load time. That's just naturally the case. It makes sense. Uh, we I've always tried to keep my number of uh, models to a minimum as I can uh, and repeat where I can uh, because it really matters. Uh, we, we've been finding in these zones here uh, for the, the new map that um, having one mesh uh, or one model that we repeat inside the map is better than having all of those be individual models. So we're trying to optimize this as much as we can and our due date is coming. <laughs> but with right now with the, with I, I, I strongly suggest we don't release this Due to the fact that these load times would just be ridiculous there'd be no way to, for anyone to enjoy this um or to be expected to sit through five minutes of loading or or five five to eight minutes even of load times um so right now i i'm in a bit of a tricky spot 
uh, on on my channel about my content. I know my content's definitely like very wild and all over the place, but you might not see as much of it in the future if they don't fix this soon. Luckily, because of uh, LA, I've been recording ahead of time, so I do have a lot of custom content that might not have been possible anymore in this season. Um, so I recorded it before or prior to uh, this season releasing. So you probably will see some more custom videos that uh, that will no longer be possible in the future. <laughs> so, uh, a bit unfortunate. Yeah, R R.I.P. to these maps, man. Yeah. Like I said, I just hope that they re that Psionics responds. That's the biggest thing. Like I don't like they do have Steam support, Steam Workshop support in the in the game. So there is a bit of you know motivation to fix it since it is a feature of their game. Most players are over on Epic Games now, but it's still it's still a concern of mine and i uh i just hope that they hear the concerns and know that you know i'm probably not gonna be able to make much custom content as much as i as i was and i think that a lot of map makers who are keeping the content alive and fresh all the time are losing motivation and may move on to other things uh i won't speak on behalf of them so i'm just gonna i'm just i'm just speculating uh but for me personally um if this continues to be a problem and we don't hear any updates about Unreal Engine 5, for example, I, I, I have a lot of concerns about the state of the game right now. I'm not going to talk about that. Just I'm talking about mainly, mainly about this issue here. Um, if if this continues to be an issue and I'm not able to play test my maps that I'm currently making, you know, there are there are a chance that there is a chance that I might move on to other things. I'm not saying that I, I want to. I, I really love this game, but um, I don't think I could play ranked <laughs> daily for you guys yeah, no, <laughs> um so we'll see we'll see what happens i'm gonna try and keep it fresh as much as i can um danny's doing his job as well uh, to keep the videos fun and interesting as it goes through but um you might see less content on the custom side uh, at least the variety we were having i mean we've been doing pretty good <laughs> to keep it pretty yeah. to keep it pretty interesting every day um but We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm definitely keeping my eyes open for any any potential fixes, um, any any ways we can help this issue. But for the time being, that is the problem. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't affect the content too much. Like I said, I'm trying my best to avoid this being an issue, but it really does limit um, my ability to just come up with a new idea and then be able to play it because I need to make sure now that the file size is okay, the load times are okay. You know, if, if we get on that, like, gray area of 30 seconds of load time, I'm we, we might have an idea, come together to record it, and then we can't even play it because no one can connect. So, um, that's the issue. I I hope y this um, gets to some people that can help this issue. Hopefully someone at Psyonix or, or Epic Games uh, could find a potential fix for this. Uh, so far, like Danny said, we haven't seen any anything from Psyonix directly or Rocket League. Um, that they know this issue exists um i've put out a ticket for for it but uh either way hope you guys uh, have a great day and we'll uh catch you guys in the next one